Hello and welcome to the first and proper decade, guys, and we'll be continuing with the companion guide series. Uh, for this video, we'll be taking a look at a companion you get from doing the last dungeon in Bonquista. So uh, you'll be roughly, uh, I'd say, level 15 or so when you're able to actually purchase this companion from the crown shop. Now, he is on sale quite often during Halloween because he is one of the spooky companions as you can see and you can also get his brother who I will be talking about in the next video Martin Valvido so uh, what are some of the great things about this guy uh, well he does come with an inferno shot or I should say an incendiary shot which is like a worse version of inferno shot uh, not a whole lot of damage surprisingly uh, especially to units that have like a lot of magic resist um, so it, this, this right here isn't all that great. I mean, he can fly. That is something cause you know, he can move over traps if he absolutely has to. And he has about four and a half movement. So about average as far as all that goes. Now, what's really great about this guy is he comes with all of the chaining epics. Um, however, he doesn't come with, you know, overwatch being available to his epic pool. So I would prefer to have Overwatch on this guy, but he doesn't have Overwatch, so um, here are the epics I would go ahead and put on him. Go with Burst Fire Rank 2 and Double Tap, tap Rank 2. Now, the idea is that these two feed into each other, if you are familiar with the whole concept of chains. Burst Fires are uh, randomly triggered at a 35% chance, and you get up to 3 same thing for a double tap, except that it's not based off of a chance, it's based off of criticals or if you kill something. Um, and the thing about double tap is is that it could go on to another target. So, uh, see, if you critical, that's another uh, chance for you to get a burst fire. If you burst fire, that's another chance for you to critical and get a double tap. So, that's why it's called chaining, because it's a chain reaction. Then you have quick draw, obviously. Uh, to trigger some of those chains, uh, say if a musket tries to shoot you, and quick adjust as a little bit of Murphy repellent for in case you get like RNG and you miss. You shouldn't miss with this guy because he's a musketeer companion and his accuracy is absolutely insane. But once again, guys, the setup is burst fire rank two, double tack rank two, quick draw, and quick adjust. All right, now we are going to go ahead and move on to the talents. Now, for the talents, you go with tough rank four, rough rank four, accurate rank four, and agile rank four. And then you put the last into the dodgy. Why do you go with ag agile? Well, this guy is not going to dodge much, so um, that's pretty much why. I also wanted to point out something. As far as musketeer companions, I'm going to use Bonnie Anna's as comparison because she's, you know, like a standard uh, musketeer companion. Moresco Valvito has a lot of armor. 43, 43 armor. 43 uh, base armor. Uh, whereas other musketeers usually have something like two. So he's one of the more tanky uh, companions. One of the more tanky uh, musketeer companions. So I thought y'all might uh, find that a little bit cool. But anyway, that's Moresco Valvito and how I'd set him up. When would this guy be useful? Well, uh, he is a decent stand-in if, you know, one of your better companions die, obviously. But also in Companion Wars, uh, there are a lot of semi-decent companions that are nice. Uh, but in Companion Wars, a lot of those get banned rather early on, so he is a good summon. If you want to know a little bit more about Companion Wars, link down below in the description to a video that explains all that. At any rate, it has been your friend and pal, the Fearsome Murbadecki, with yet another Pirate 101 video, because goodness knows I love this game. Quack a little do, and peace out for now. Like what you see and want to help support it? Well, do consider joining the Quack Club. In order to do that, you'd head over to the Fearsome Murbadecki on YouTube, hit that join button. There'll be a video explaining the perks, starting with Big Quack. Um, so not only will you have your name here on the side, but you will also have some of our badges and emotes. And then we move on, of course, to Epic Quack, which is the next tier. And that will also give you some extra voting privileges. So when I put a poll out on anything regarding a decision made by the viewers here on this YouTube channel, you will get an extra vote. And you will also get priority pet morph in our pet morphing streams if you want to see some of the amazing pets we have a link down below in the description i promise you will not be disappointed 
And next we have our Mega Quack. This will, of course, give you um, priority PvP teaming. Um, so when I do my 3v3 viewer streams, I like to team with as many people as I possibly can for from the PvP community. But I want to give priority to my biggest supporters, obviously. So um, that's uh, Mega Quack right here. There's only one more tier that's higher than that, and that is Super Quack. And if you guys want to pledge that much support, I will honestly just make you your own custom profile picture um, off of what uh, drawing skills I have on Microsoft Paint for getting better and better. But uh, this is what I have here uh, from some uh, of my past clients. So it's it's kind of a cartoonish style. Uh, if, if that if that suits you, if you just want to give me the support, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate any and all support, though. Your view, your like, your comments, uh, any sharing of this video is, of course, much appreciated. Thanks again, guys, so much. Uh, quack a doodle doo, and peace out for now.